to want to welcome each and every one of you to the Advancement Navigator training. And we've got someone from corporate of Rapid Funnel that's here that's going to continue to educate us, train us on how to leverage this incredible tool. You know, tools are designed to create duplication, which creates success. So, guys, just tune in. Stay plugged in under the informational spout. And I'd like to welcome Jen again here from corporate that's going to train us on the Advancement Navigator through Rapid Funnel. So thank you so much, Jen, for plugging in and gracing us with your presence. Thank you. I'm very excited to be here, and I'm really excited to see what you all are doing with the app. So what we're going to cover today is what you do with, 90, with new team members in their first 90 days. Their first 90 days in this industry really can make it or break it for people. And one of the mindsets that we want you guys to embrace, and it, it's a kind of a challenging one sometimes, is the distinction between recruiting versus sponsoring. And I know sometimes in this industry, there are a lot of people that just recruit, 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 and then they sort of wait for people to take action. And they don't really understand that fundamentally, this is a relationship business. And having a relationship with someone makes all the difference in terms of how close they are to you for longevity. Relationships really make a huge difference for the long term and obviously the short term. And one of the things about our app is that it's relationship based. We call it authentic networking because you're not just out there spamming people. You're actually reaching out to people that you know or people that you've had a good conversation with. And it's that one on one and that relational conversation that makes such a difference. And like I shared last time, it's having that relationship that gets you heard through the noise. There's people are hit with a you know, 5,000, I think, digital impressions every day. And what allows your conversation to be seen and heard and read and responded to is the fact that you do have a relationship with that person. You want to keep that going when someone joins your team. And there are some clear principles that allow that to happen. And we support those principles very, very well with this app. So one of the difficulties that new people struggle with is they maybe see sort of the potential for this business, but they don't necessarily believe that they can do it. And it's one of the goals of almost every um team is to show people having success. And the reason that we show people having success is to empower others to believe that they can do what they need to do in order to be successful here. The app is such a key piece to that because what you can do is you can walk them through and get them started in an activity that we know will create success. So the other challenge that people have is they never really learn what should they actually be doing here. And they also don't learn what activity level is required because a lot of people get shown something and they, they see, oh, you only need five people. And they think, well, the first five people I'm going to talk to are going to say yes. And that just isn't the case. It doesn't mean it's never going to be right for them. It just means the timing is not right just now. And so you need to be thinking in terms of making sure that new people coming on board understand exactly what they have to do, but also understand the level of activity that they have to be doing that at. And the cool thing about the app is that it simplifies that and also it makes it possible to have your level of activity be high enough without it just taking all day. You can do this in minutes, which is really cool. A third challenge that people have, and I see this all the time, is in the industry, not just your company, I'm, I just see it everywhere, and I think it's a, a proverbial problem, is people mistake what works for them as being something that duplicates. And as Antoine opened with, duplication is what creates success. And duplication is the name of the game with your app because it's designed so that you can show someone how to use it. They can immediately use it and then they can show someone else how to use it. And so long as people have a simple system and a simple tool, then they'll do it. That's really the bottom line. 
So getting to the bottom of these three difficulties is one of the cool things that this app really solves. So sponsoring versus recruiting is also a mindset in terms of how you spend time with people. And obviously, you know, you don't want to spend time with people who are wasting your time. But on the other hand, you want to be looking at people that are hungry, people that really want this to work. And you do want to take the time to walk them through this process. It's one of the reasons why your team and your leaders do this training, because they want you to be familiar with the app so that you in, in turn can then have a platform to bring new people to, but then also have familiarity to engage in it. So the app has a getting started page. There's a welcome video in the app. And then under the coaching section, there is a lot of information in terms of how to's. And then I know these trainings get listed there. So the bottom line with this is that there's a system. You don't have to sit around going, what should I do? How do I grow this? How do I advance it? The app is set up so that you have a system. You know exactly what to do. And when you bring someone new in, they will open the app and they'll see there's a getting started page. There's a welcome video. There's coaching. And so they can self-educate. They can go in and take a look and start to learn what's going on, which frees you up for sure. But also it's a system that will duplicate. They can share it with someone new and their, their new person can do exactly the same thing. The other thing that you wanna take a look at in terms of sponsoring is this relationship business is so important with your team. You wanna know what their goals are. And you know my, my philosophy on understanding goals is to get as specific as possible. You know, if someone says they want to make an extra $500 a month or an extra $1,000 a month, I want to know why and what are they going to do with it? And what's going to change in their life if that $1,000 comes in month after month after month, which is the power of our industry. Once you build it, it keeps coming in, which is awesome. So they might pay bills with it the first month, but in a year when it's still coming in, what are they doing? Are they going to take a trip to Europe? Are they going to put their kids in private school? Are they going to buy a new car? Are they going to, you know, what are they going to do with that? The more you can get them to articulate that, first of all, the more their vision is spoken and they start to believe in their own vision and their own goals. But also when you hit a bump in the road, when they have a down day, when they have a day where a person they were sure was going to join them says, you know, no way you have something to bring them back to, you know them well enough and you have a relationship with them that you can bring them back to that conversation and say, Hey, were you serious when you said you wanted to put your kids in private school? You know, this is a vehicle that can help you accomplish that. Even though you've run into a bump today, let's get back at it. So knowing their goals, having them really articulate their goals is huge because it gets you through the stormy weather, which is going to happen in every life, in every business, in every industry. The other thing about this app that is awesome is that we do really focus, and your leadership is so good at this, they're just brilliant, at showing you instead of just telling you. And the more that you can get familiar with the app yourself, then you're going to be in a position to show your team. And then obviously, you have these trainings that are in your coaching after the fact, so you can always bring people to these trainings. But you, if you take the time to really sit down and show people how they make their first 10 to 20 exposures, their confidence level will just, it, it's just going to go up here. And you and I both know if someone makes 10 to 20 exposures to people that they know using the text that's in your app and it's to someone that's warm market, they're going to get feedback. They're going to get some people that say, sure, you can send me some information. And then you're in the loop. And then you're sending them that next sizzle video or that next presentation. And you've started the ball rolling. Their belief will just be so much stronger if you can walk them through. And you don't have to walk them through forever. You just have to walk them through 10 or 20 times. And as Antoine said last week, play around with it. Go in there, put in some fake names, put in some people that you can just test and practice so that you get comfortable with it. Because the more comfortable with it you are, the faster you'll be at it. And then as soon as you're quick at it, then you'll realize you're sitting around, you're waiting, you've got a minute, you're going to send an ex and send a message out and, and do 
and a reach out to somebody and get the ball rolling with another conversation. So it'll be easier to get more conversations going. And of course, the more conversations you have, the more you're going to up your percentage. We also have a lot of support and accountability in here. You've got your leaderboard, which is fabulous. Have fun with the leaderboard. Really take a look at who's doing what and challenge some other people. Do a social post. There's a way to do a social post where you can say to someone within your within your organization, hey, you know, I see your percentage is, you know, 80%. I'm shooting for 90% engagement and challenge each other and really make a game of it. I tell people this is like the candy crush for our industry and people love playing games. And if you can use the leaderboards and use the contest to make it fun and keep it fun, that's going to be a game changer. There's also a training partner feature that can be available within the app and that links you with someone. So you have a training partner and that's another fabulous thing. So again, you can be looking at what's going on with your business. How many enge- enrollment uh, exposures are you doing and how many engagements are you getting? What's that percentage look like? What could be changed to make that higher? Who are you reaching out to? What else could you do? So the training is huge here and it starts with the relationship and it starts with that mindset of sponsoring someone into the business instead of just recruiting and then hoping that they sink or swim. That's not going to build you a long-term thing. Whereas if your focus is on sponsoring, your focus is on deep deepening the relationship, finding out what they want, finding out where they're strong, finding out where they're weak, and then showing them the system of the app and partnering with them long enough so that they feel confident to get going with the app it's just going to change their whole trajectory of their experience with you as a either a customer or a team member. So our challenge right now, and I know Don's going to address some of this, is what are your goals for your business and how many new exposures are you committed to doing? Because that really is where the rubber meets the road. And, you know, I remember listening to, I think it was Jim Rohn. He does, he's a great mentor for a bunch of us in this industry. We were privileged to meet him personally and uh, have uh, attend a whole bunch of his trainings. And one of the stories that he tells is that when he was building his team, basically he had one piece of information that he needed his team to offer up to him every week. How many people did you share the story with this week, this month? And he said, it's a really little box because you only need to put a number in there. There's no room for excuses. It's just how many people. And so it's just simple. It's really, it's hard to believe it's this simple, but I will guarantee you, your leadership will agree with me on this. The person who makes the most exposures wins because you're just the more exposures you make, the more people will then be engaged and look at information. The more people who look at information, the more people will then raise their hand and say, this looks good. This looks like something I've been looking for. So what I want you to do right now in the chat is I just want you to write in there how many exposures you're gonna commit to each day between now and next Funnel Friday. So go ahead in the chat and it doesn't matter. There's no judgment on how many, just pick one that you know you can really commit to because consistency is everything in life. And if you just, even if it's one a day, I wanna see those numbers so that you can just know you've made that commitment. You're gonna do one, 15, way to go, Fred. Seven, that's awesome, 10 a day. You guys are rock stars. This is great. 50, awesome, look at that. This is so exciting. You guys are going to just absolutely five fabulous. You're going to blow it out of the park. So keep coming. How many more? Anyone else want to share one? That's great. Sherry, get consistent. That's really the key. It's not where you start. It's where you finish. That's important. So getting consistent and doing this every single day, nine, five. These numbers are fantastic, guys. I'm so excited. 15. Wonderful. This is great. Keep them coming. And Dawn's going to keep reading them so that you can see. But I'm super excited for you because I know if you will do these numbers consistently, magic will happen in your business because this app makes it so simple. You can't get off track. You know, that's really and it's real easy here to follow the shiny object. But the people who stay simple and follow step one, step two, step three are the ones that will win. This is awesome. Your numbers are great. 
So next time we're gonna go through building a high performance organization and just talk about the concepts and some of the particulars for what you focus on is what expands because you know we've all seen different variations of that thought process but it's an important thing to remember every day as you're working your business and we'll be covering that next week and i just want to ask one other thing if you guys are loving the app Take a picture, if you're in the App Store or the Play Store, take a picture of this QR code. We'd love to hear your experience. It's, um, it's real helpful and it's a lot of fun. And as you know, when you're shopping around too, as someone new, if you can hear from someone who's actually working with something and what their experience is, it just is helpful for them to know what your experience is like. And it's also obviously helpful for us. So, you know, obviously we only want five-star reviews, you know, <laughs> uh, but just kidding. I mean, you know, we just want your authentic response to how this is, um, what this experience has been like. So if you take a minute, take a quick screenshot of that and then share a review, that would be awesome. So Don, that's all I have to cover here. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen and hand it back over to you. And um, we can, uh, I'll hang around till you're done with your, your training and Q and A and stuff. Fantastic. Wow, that was incredible. I love to see all these numbers. What we wanna do today is we want to share with you a few things. First of all, the training portion that Jen does every week, we're going to be advancing and we have all the recordings in the coaching section. Very easy for you to find. We also want to keep in mind, we are getting so many new people uh, every single week because the blessing of this has been while we are still in soft launch, we have this fantastic program and app available. So there's always going to be newbies. So the the lesson will be evolving, but then we're always going to do some redundant information and make sure that the newbies know what to do and give them a demonstration. And then we'll open it up for Q&A. On the Q&A, our ground rules are please don't make it too heavy as far as troubleshooting because that's what support's for. They have the expertise to do that. So we're here just really to answer questions that, you know, how do you do this? What does this feature work, et cetera? And we do need to keep it under an hour. So we like, we ask everyone to, if you do want to speak verbally with your question, everyone can have one question each. And then anything beyond that, just type it in the chat box. Don't surprise us with any ideas or anything. Just seriously, just ask questions. I totally appreciate your contributions, but um, this may not be the place for us to address them. And so you can always reach out to me or Antoine on Telegram. Those are really good ways to get a hold of us. And my username on Telegram is Bullioness. So feel free to write a message if you ever have any questions on something, want to offer something, etc. Just this morning, I finished adding a new survey to show everyone there's so many people that are looking for additional income streams. And so we have this new survey. We have the one minute survey on gold and silver. And that's the one we've always had. So keep that in mind. That is generic. It has absolutely nothing to do with that cost metals. It's a way to get information from people on where they are pertaining to gold and silver. So then you can best know what resource to send them. And it's a great, the surveys are great cold market generator. So when we say cold market, we mean if you are looking for people outside your family and friends and you want to reach out on social media or, you know, you have um, in-person traffic that you can pull from, these, the surveys are great. So the second one is called the one minute survey on a side gig. There is a terminology called the gig economy. And that is all these like side businesses. In addition to network marketing, it would be like ride shares, DoorDash, all those kind of things. So we have a generic one, well, semi-generic. I'm going to open it up just so that you can see it. Now, again, you may have a great idea for this as well. So send me any details or any contributions for this in, you know, to um, Telegram, but this is just a, a draft right now. It's good to go, but we'll, we'll probably perfect it in, is what I mean. So finding your side gig. 
answer these questions and see if this if the gig economy can benefit you. There's like five questions. How would you rate your passion for gold and silver? So we want to know that. Then we want to know, have you ever been in business for yourself before? Yes or no. How would you rate your level of desire for finding a new business or career? Highly motivated, motivated, interested, just curious. How much would you need to earn per month to make a part-time business worthwhile? So we have less than 500, then it goes all the way up to more than 5,000 a month. How much time per week would you be willing to dedicate to earn that amount? Less than 10 hours per week, 10 to 20, more than 40, etc. And bottom line, at the weekly hour commitment you chose above. So let's say they said 20 to 40 hours per week. How many months would you be willing to commit to reach your desired salary? And then they choose. Now, the bottom line with this is we don't want to offend anyone, but sometimes their ideals are a little unrealistic. Maybe this is they're brand new to this industry and they want $5,000 a month and they're only willing to do 10 hours a day. I mean, 10 hours a week, um, you know, for a month to get there. Obviously, it's going to take some time. So when we get this information, then you can work with your upline success coach, if you'd like, to get uh, information on how you can really massage this and help them to understand to get to re to reach their goals. Jen, do you have any um, anything that you would like to offer on this as far as this concept? Because I know this is really big with Rapid Funnel is helping you to find people that are wanting to get involved in the side gig economy. I love these surveys because these surveys are something that you can share with, you know, on social media or other platforms. You know, I don't know if your organizations ever do any events. You can have these surveys that you send to someone while you're doing a booth and they can be pre-qualifying themselves. But these are absolutely fabulous in terms of finding new people and asking specifically about the income option, which is just a lot of people that are in the industry, just, you know, they might be totally passionate about the product, but making that jump to ask about the income option can be just a little more challenging for people, especially brand new people that have never done this before. And the survey solves that. A survey is just like, hey, would you take a look and just answer this survey and see if the side gig economy is something you want to venture into? So it's a powerful, powerful tool. And then what your leaders will then teach you how to do is after you have the survey information for people, the next step is learning how to follow up with people and ask them, hey, thanks for doing the survey. I'm excited to see what you want to achieve. And let's just take a look. Were you serious about earning an extra $2,000 a month? And were you serious about being able to give it 10 to 15 hours a week? So you then again, like I was saying before, in terms of the relationship, you have a chance to have a conversation with them where they've offered you what they've said they're willing to do and what they want. And you can then dive deeper, find out their goals, find out why they want it, but also, as Don alluded to, I think all of us in our career have had someone who said, yeah, I want to make $10,000 a month and I'm only willing to give this 15 minutes a day for a month. And you just, you kind of go, okay, those just don't connect in any world or any universe I've been on. So this is a way for you to have a really powerful conversation with new people about the income option and surveys are just such a great way for your brand new person to reach out to their person and invite them to take a look at the income option in a way that isn't uncomfortable for them. They can just say, hey, would you do this survey for me? I'd really appreciate it. So it's a cool tool. I love this tool. I do too. I think it's a great survey. I think it's a really uh, good way to manage expectations so that people don't get disappointed if they aren't doing something Um you know, like their numbers are really low and they're not making what they thought they were going to make. So if we could, from the very beginning, manage their expectations and help them. And here's something else that a lot of us may not anticipate. 
maybe your own personal goal is just you're you're happy making five hundred dollars a month. Um, do not be surprised when people want to make a lot more, or maybe you're just doing 10 hours a week and you got someone that's ready to put in 80 hours. So these things are going to happen. So um, just know everyone has different expectations. Don't get nervous about that. That's a godsend. That's what we want. Um, so that could, that kind of thing could fall in your lap. So super exciting. Everyone's different. We are all our own business entrepreneurs. Super exciting on that aspect. And this reminded me this morning that we do need a sizzle video. A sizzle video is a intro video, a sizzle video on the side gig economy. So I'll be working with Antoine to get some ideas on creating that for us as well. So that the, the flow will be, if we're reaching out to people for the side gig economy and they sign up for the survey, and now we have the information and then we're basically saying thank you for taking our survey. Now we recommend this side gig and then give them a quick introduction video. And then if they click learn more, then they move into the overview, the comp plan, and then go through the other series of videos that we have. What I'd like to do right now for the newbie before we open it up to Q&A is actually do an exposure. So what I would like is someone that is new to the app that has it downloaded and has already uh, a contact in mind that they would like to reach out to. Maybe you've already asked permission, but you haven't sent anything to them. So if you could raise your hand, let's try to find someone that's brand spanking new. And you guys can turn your videos on now if you'd like to. While we wait for that, Marlon has a great question. How do we promote the survey online? I'm not a big believer in buying advertising. Everybody is different, but I don't want people to ever feel like they have to spend money, um, especially if you're getting started. The whole idea of getting started with um, a side gig or with that cost metals is to create income. And it's although there is that saying, it, may, it takes money to make money, you don't always have to do that. And so just be be creative, use different groups, go into entrepreneurial groups, you definitely use hashtags, like, a ha you know, go, go research hashtags on surveys, see which ones are popular, and write posts in groups, utilize all the social media platforms. When I'm posting something, I'm plastering it on Facebook, Instagram, uh, the X, which is the old Twitter. Um, TikTok, YouTube, now Telegram has stories. I don't know if you guys saw that. Um, and so that's how I would do it. Okay, how about this, guys? I want to show this how I show you how to do this. If we don't have a volunteer, it's okay. Uh, um, Richard just raised his hand. Oh, Richard, fantastic, Richard. I'm going to ask you to unmute. Okay. Right. <clears throat> Richard, are you going to be my volunteer? Well, the thing is, I, I, I didn't see this until just about an hour or so ago. And I copied it, or maybe a few hours ago. I forget. I've been doing some stuff in my apartment here. Um, and So do I, you have it all set up? No, I don't. I don't even okay. have it. what it costs. Well, then, Richard, well, let's wait to the Q&A for that. We're looking for volunteers that have it already set up. So let's go ahead, and I'll just show you if there's nobody that's available. All you do is click on the contacts tab at the very bottom here. And let's go to this top one that says demo contact. You click on that. And we have several buttons on the screen. But down right below the calendar and the stars, we have two big buttons that say event to invite or send resource. So let's go ahead and click send resource. Both of them are powerful. But for this example, I just want to show you this. You can start with a lot of things. Uh, we don't want to confuse you. So what we're talking about right this second is the survey. So what I would do is click on the Add Cost Metals tab. If you haven't already asked permission, uh, why we say ask permission is as a reminder that the self Providers are blocking links unless they see a two-way communication. 
So if you're just going to send it on social media, you don't necessarily need permission. However, I will say when people just bombard me with links without asking permission, then I get annoyed with them and I usually school them on it because you really should have some kind of respect level and say, hey, you know, are you open to seeing something? You know, I'm I'm super excited about this, you know, blah, 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 whatever it is, however you're going to open um, and just get their permission first. So under get permissions, check this out. Guys, we just added these. If you didn't see these last week, we added so many different conversation openers based on what the person is, a, a newbie, or if they're curious, if they are seeking um, to additional income, if they're an existing buyer of gold and silver, if they're worried about inflation, et cetera. So on this one, I'm just going to show you a preview of the, the top one invite for gold and silver survey. There will be another invite for survey uh, for the side gig economy. So here it says hi, and then the person's name. I'm doing some market research and would love to get your feedback. If I sent you a one minute survey, would you let me know your thoughts? As soon as they respond, yes, then you're gonna go to the next tab here. And you're gonna click on the box that says one minute survey. And all you have to do is there's three icons on the bottom. The left one is email, text in the middle or social media share. And the social media share, unless you're on Android, Android is really cool. It has some better features than the iPhone. Um, and so if it's if you click that one, it's typically just copy it and then go into whatever social media you want and paste it. So let's pretend I want to go ahead and just do a text message. I've already got the person's permission. And so here we have the information. And I can, if I do not like this verbiage, I can go in here and change this however I want. And then this is key. This is the actual link that's going to be hot and trackable. So when I go ahead and send that to them, this is they're going to get it and then they could respond back. It's as simple as that. It's amazing. And now we tell you at the very front here, it shows our statistics at the top, exposures and engagements. What I just did is considered an exposure. It really doesn't count. I could do that all day long. I could do that to a thousand people. That's what we do want you to do. That is what your numbers are that you said. But what's important is how they respond. If they click on it, if they watch the video, if they take the survey, and that's where your engagements are going to say. And in this case, on this demo account, they have like 100% because, well, here we have 13 that just changed. 13 exposures to 12 engagements. That's what we're looking for. We want that number to be very close. We don't want the exposures to be 1,000 and engagements to be 20. So if you have a question, you can type it in the chat box. Again, we'd like you to just have one question. So go ahead and raise your hand if you'd like to speak. Okay, here's Richard. Let's go ahead and get your question. If the question is, I want to know what the cost is because there's always a cost for something and I don't have a ton of money to put in the marketing right now. All right, well, that's a great question. So this is a free app. And um, you can use it for free as long as you want. And you're going to find that it's really um, saves you a lot of time and it really helps you to close your cells. It is fantastic. As you'll learn more, as you watch the videos and the tutorials on it, you'll see how many different things that it encompasses from like constant contact to survey monkey to autoresponders. It does it all. So there is a premium version that comes with all the bells and whistles, and that is for $24.95. What I recommend that you do is we have all our Funnel Friday trainings. Um, this is week number five, and we have all of them available it's under coaching. And just watch some of those, and a lot of your questions will be answered. Let's go ahead and ask. We have Robert Miles. Robert, go ahead and unmute yourself. There you go. I had a question. I um, 
I got interrupted by a um, kind of a, a, a call uh, while you were going through the survey, and I didn't get to see the survey completely. I was wondering if it was possible to see that survey again. Okay. Whenever you're looking for the survey or any of the resources, you can click on a contact if you want to attach it to a contact or you can go directly to the resources if you wanted to share it like on social media. I'm gonna to go to resources right now for the sake of this example. I'm gonna click on at cost metals. It's under peak and it's the second one down. And all you have to do here is click the open button and then you'll be able to see it. If you have yours open right now, do you have your app open? Okay, I don't hear you. But you can, if, if you just do that, you can read through all of them. He gave if a thumbs saw... up. I think he sees it. He, he gave a thumbs up. Wonderful. All right, Antoine, are you ready to rock and roll? I think also it's important that you don't just import all your contacts into the app. It will ask you that, but you don't have to do that. That's not necessary. You want to just go through and highlight what, contacts you want to import into the app maybe do five at a time you know uh, or if you got a key one that's strong go ahead and add them i would not just import your entire contact list into the rapid funnel system into the advancement navigator so when they ask you that i would say no and then you can go specifically and highlight what contacts you want to add to the crm of the advancement navigator and you have to play with it. If you have a significant other or a spouse or a friend, send it to your friends so that you can see how it will work. And you can, your friend can give you some feedback on what they received. Play with it. It's okay. Don't be afraid to do that. That's how you get comfortable with it. And you're going to get better and better and better because guess who can get better? Anybody can get better. It's just a matter of you going through the process. Don't be afraid. Use the tool. That's why it's here. This is a business. I'm, and we've simplified this. Uh, you know, to me, it doesn't get any easier than this. That's why we train on it every Friday. We've got corporate coming and they're sharing with us how to get better and better and more comfortable with this tool. But now the rest is up to you. You have to use the tool. You have to go through the contacts. You have to get the permission. You have to pique the interest. And then you have to follow up because the fortunes are always in the follow-up. So if you've sent out several of these and you know that you've got surveys that people have responded, now the next question is, have you followed up? And you can do that. You can schedule three-way calls. If you're not comfortable following up with your with your upline or with a leader, we will definitely follow up with you. So you've got to follow up. It does no good just to have someone has gone through the surveys and you have not followed up. That's where your fortunes are. Okay, so let's go collect our fortunes. But get good at getting comfortable of sending out the information. That's all we have to do. Before, years ago, we were telling people to pick up the phone and make a phone call. <laughs> and people, you know, that phone felt like it weighed 100 tons to pick up that call, that phone, and make that first phone call. Nobody really wanted to do it. Now, are you kidding me? You just go boom, boom, boom. And that's it. It doesn't get any easier than that. Now, what do we need to do? follow up, but we can follow up based on information that they sent us. They want us to follow up. That's why they sent the information. So now we got to do that part. But we're following up with someone that is giving us information that says, this is what I'm interested in. Here's how much I'm interested in making. Here's how many hours I'm willing to put toward it. So let's show them the vehicle that can help them accomplish this. That's where we come in. And then we teach others how to do the exact same thing. So we've got the contest going on. It's based on engagements. It's based on enrollment into ACM at Cost Metals because this, the advancement navigator is for at Cost Metals. We drop this information in our Facebook group that we have, our Telegram group that we have, just to keep you informed of what's going on. I'll leave you with one last testimonial. There's a gentleman, as a matter of fact, he's number one on the app. He's number one. He's a retired firefighter. He called me up. 
He said, Antoine, I got to share a testimony with you. He introduced himself. I said, okay, please. I didn't know what he was going to say. The gentleman shared with me that he bought a silver bar from Costco's, paid a little over $300 for it. And then he came back and he bought the same quantity of silver, a bar from ACM. With shipping, he saved a little over $50 with shipping. At Costco's, he paid sales tax on the metal. With ACM, no sales tax. Number two, he wanted to say, the first three people that I enrolled into At Cost Metals was through the Advancement Navigator. He said, Antoine, I know who they are. I got permission, sent them the information, and lo and behold, they went through the compensation plan. They went through all the information, and they enrolled without even talking to me. Now, will that happen every single time? No. But it will happen based on the quality of exposures and the people that we're sending the information to. It can happen. But I can also tell that this gentleman is utilizing the tool because I can see his score. I think he's over 43. So that tells me He's getting the results because he's using it. Which means if you want the results, guess what you have to do? You have to use it. Don't be afraid to get permission to send some individuals information. That's the least we can do. And then as they are doing that, then let's, let's collect our rewards by following up because that's where we're going to get them. Not everyone will enroll without talking to you. Some we need to talk to. So let's take advantage of this tool and teach others how to do the exact same thing. So Don, that's what I have. There's Firefighter Mike, like you were just talking about at the very top. And look at how many people we have on the leaderboard, guys. And this is an exciting contest that we have going. Antoine is um, so generous to create a contest for everyone to join in. But the key is we have to use the ad nav. So look at everyone getting started. This is super exciting. We're all getting started at the same time. We're going to look back at this in five, 10 years and go, do you remember when we had that very first promotion when we were just all learning this? Now we are experts. It just keeps going and going. So we want to see you in the top three. We want these numbers to come up. Antoine was saying the fortune is in the follow-up. That's always super important. The follow the, the fortune is in the follow-up. And we're going to teach you how to do it every step of the way. And in the chat, you'll see the link to our Telegram channel. So this is week five. And as Jen gave you her the she gave you your homework for the week. And go ahead. You guys committed. We want to hold you accountable. As many as you had stated that you can do each day, we ask you to do that. Give yourself a month of being consistent and consistently reaching out, asking permission, sending out resources, being inventive, using those peak videos, and then another fabulous video that we have that um, Antoine always recommends is that segment from End of the Road Right now, guys, everyone's wallet is getting pinched and they don't understand why they've had their head in the sand. We need them to understand the history of money once they understand what has happened, what's going on with the U.S. dollar and beyond, how it's affecting all the other world currencies and how we can safeguard against it, at least, you know, to buy some gold and silver. That's key right there, guys. Thank you so much for being here. And week number six is next Friday. We're super excited. It's going to be powerful. So don't miss it. And we thank you for joining us and look forward to your success. Tomorrow is end of the week. So let's finish strong. Thank you, Jen. Appreciate you. Thank you, Don. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you all. You guys are rocking it. You're rock stars. Have a yes. great week. Bye for now, all.